Hello, I've got a puzzle for you today. I've got three ramps. They're all exactly the same length. They all drop down the same distance, same height. So if I put three balls at the top of each ramp and release those three balls simultaneously at the same time, will they arrive at the bottom together? Will they arrive one before the other? Stop and have a think. So the ramp closest to us, that's got the steepest part at the beginning. The ramp in the middle, that's the same uh, slope the whole way through. The ramp at the back, that's got the shallowest part at the beginning and the steepest part at the end. Who might be interested in how the different ramps behave? Well, if you're designing a roller coaster, perhaps if you're training somebody to run a race and you're trying to think whether they can get them to have a little bit more acceleration at one point or another, that might make a difference. So, are you ready? Let's have a go. work. Off we go. As you can see, the ball closest to us accelerated most quickly. So then when it reached that shallower part of the slope, it was already travelling much faster. So it arrived first. The one in the middle arrived at the middle time, it accelerated at the same rate all the way through. And the one at the back, well the first part of its time was spent accelerating less quickly than the others. So it hadn't, by the time it reached the midpoint, it hadn't reached as fast a speed as the ramps, either of the other ramps. So when it was then accelerating for that last part of the journey, it didn't accelerate from as fast a speed. So there you have it. If you want to win a race, it's best to accelerate first at the start. If you want a really exciting ride on your roller coaster, let's put that steep part of the ride at the beginning. Did you get it right? <laughs>